Jim, let me start with you. I felt that his Davos speech was a lot more trade friendly. I mean, he did open the door to negotiation with countries that are still in, in the TPP individually or as a group. What was your take? I would agree with that. I mean, uh, you know, I'll quote the, the Art of the Deal, a book that Trump might be familiar with, that all deals are usually done with no, no, I said no, yes. And I think we might be getting very close to that yes part. And so I think the markets have been fairly sanguine about this, too, that when you hear the bellicose language about we're pulling out of this, we're ending NAFTA, uh, those are negotiating ploys. Those are not absolutes. So, yeah, I suspect there will be a deal, and I think the market thinks there will be a deal, and it won't be nearly as um, negative as everybody fears it will be. David, uh, we've seen Trump's poll numbers rise a little bit. Uh, he's had some policy domestic victories relating to uh, the taxes. He goes to Davos, seems to do well. Everybody uh, liked him a lot there. He's got the State of the Union uh, next week. Mm -hmm. After last year, it wasn't a State of the Union last year, but his equivalent last year, there was a big market rally. Is this sort of uh, is the fact that at least for the moment the White House ship seems to be on slightly uh, more stable waters? Does it help the market? You just said it, you killed it. I know. That's what just um, happened. It can't <laughs> last that long, but for the moment. What, what what I think is interesting about the way the market has behaved over the past 12 or so months is, is the market seems to really subscribe to the idea of you know watch what the administration does, don't listen as much to what they say. Uh, there's clearly a lot of rhetoric. Rhetoric historically drives volatility. The market, I think, has had the opportunity, however, to focus on relatively robust economic growth, good expansion in profits, right? There's good stuff happening from a fundamental standpoint, which may muffle the rumblings in Washington when they are to the market's liking. Uh, but I also think that investors have really recognized that, you know, what's important to focus on is what actually becomes policy and not to speculate about the potential for different things to disrupt the market. And of course, we've, uh, you know, the people have talked about that gap between political volatility and the wild headlines. As long as we keep getting solid data and solid earnings, nothing's uh, likely to change on that. Exactly. I think that, you know, in the long run, stocks follow profits. Uh, and the biggest thing the administration has done to profits recently is pass this new tax bill. You know, that's going to, that doubles our estimated growth rate for earnings in the coming year. So I think we have at least 12 more months of pretty solid, mm. solid performance out of risk assets before other factors could come into play and start to depress their, uh, depress their levels.